yellow flower. Hello, little tree. Pink Petunia continued. We are soft and smell sweet. What about you? Little Oak didn't know how to answer. He knew he had no oranges. Do you grow flowers? Pink Petunia asked. Little Oak never remembered seeing flowers like roses or petunias on his mother. But still, maybe Oaks did grow flowers. Hmm. Maybe I could. Maybe that's what I'm made to do, he answered. So he tried as hard as he could. Little Oak tried to grow flowers like his friends could grow. As the sun grew hotter, they unfolded into a rainbow of pinks, reds and yellows. Little Oak, however, just grew taller. As the days grew longer, his roots grew deeper. Every day he tried to grow colorful Every day he tried to grow colorful flowers, but he never could. Pink Petunia could, so could Rosie, so could Daisy, but not Little Oak. Finally, Little Oak decided to rest. His branches were tired and drooping, his leaves were dropping, even the flowers were sleepy. We're going to rest now, Little Oak, the flowers told him, and they did. The sky grayed and days shortened and the whole garden slept. While Little Oak slept, he dreamed. He dreamed of his days as a little acorn on his mother's branch. Deep in his sleep, he heard her soft voice. Within you is a great oak. Just be the tree God made you to be. When the sun warmed his branches, Little Oak awoke. Only he wasn't so little any more. He could see farther. He'd grown taller and wider. The winds didn't bend him as much. His branches were as big as his trunk used to be. Little Oak was becoming Big Oak. Many years passed and each year he grew bigger and wider, wider and bigger, until everything in the farmer's yard looked up to him. Little Oak grew, and he grew, and he grew, and he grew. Now Orange Tree and the flowers called him Big Oak. He spread his big branches and looked around. Orange Tree was taller too, but not as tall as Big Oak. Big Oak was taller than all of his friends. They were wide, but not as wide as Big Oak. He was the tallest, he was the widest, but he still wondered what he was supposed to do. He couldn't grow oranges or flowers, he just grew bigger, and he didn't know why. Big Oak was just awakening from a long winter's nap. His leaves tiny buds when a young farmer brought two ropes and tied them to one of his strong branches. Close by a little girl watched. Rosie Rose was puzzled. What's it for, Big I don't know, Big Oak answered, but he soon found out. Can I do it, Daddy? Can I swing? Go ahead, urged the man. And the little girl with bright blue eyes and hair, the color of Daisy's flowers, sat in the swing. Big Oak felt the tug, but barely. He was strong and the little girl was small. With her daddy's help, she swung forward, not too far, but farther the next day and farther the next. By the time the sun was hot and the flowers were plenty, she could swing alone kicking her feet higher and higher until she could see the roof of her house. Then back she would swing, back until she seemed to look straight at the ground. Big Oak loved the sound of little girl's laughter, her footsteps running toward him, her squeals of delight as she swung higher and higher into the sky. Yes, Big Oak loved little girl. When she swung, he stood strong. When her daddy built her a tree house in Big Oak's branches, Big Oak gladly held it. When little girl stretched out on the grass to watch the clouds float, Big Oak shaded her. She played in his branches, climbed his trunk, rested in his shadow, and together they grew. Each year both taller, 
each year both stronger. When grey skies brought cold days, big oaks slept and the swing hung silent and the playhouse stayed empty. When blue skies brought warm days, they laughed and played, little girl talked and he listened, and at last big oak knew he had become the tree God made him to be. One day little girl came to big oak with a little boy, though neither was too little. They sat on his branches and talked. Big Oak held them both, and when they carved their names on his trunk, he didn't mind. Little boy pushed the swing. Little girl laughed, and Big Oak protected them from the sudden rain. In time, little girl didn't swing so much. When she climbed into the treehouse, she sat more and played less. Little girl was becoming Big Girl. Big Girl now stood as tall as Big Oak's lowest branch. One day Rosy Rose said to Big Oak, She's grown up, Big Oak. She'll soon leave. Big Oak didn't answer, but he understood. Big Girl spent many blue sky days sitting on the ground, leaning back against Big Oak's trunk and watching the clouds drift by. Big Oak knew Big Girl had a big question on her mind because she said things like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be, and it's hard to let go, and how can I know who I am? Big Oak wanted to talk to Big Girl. He knew just what to say. He would say, Within you is a great girl. Just be the person God made you to be. Orange trees grow oranges, he would say. Flower plants grow flowers. And oaks? Oaks grow tall enough for swings and strong enough for swinging and big enough to hold little girls until they become big girls. He wanted to, but he couldn't say the words. One day, Big Girl was so sad. The little girl who used to giggle in Big Oak's shade just sat silent tears flowing down her cheeks. It's hard to let go, she said. Big Oak was listening and he had an idea. He looked down his branch at a little acorn. I have a special job for you, Big Oak said. The next time the wind blew his branches, Big Oak let this branch shake more than the others. The little acorn popped loose and landed in Big Girl's lap. Big Girl picked it up and started to toss it away, but stopped. She held the little acorn in her hand and stared at it. She turned and looked up at Big Oak. Were you ever this small? Answering her own question, she continued. Of course you were. You grew into a great oak from a little acorn. All you did was become who God made you to be. She looked again at the acorn, then back at the tree. Her eyes brightened. Do you suppose that's what God wants me to do? Big Oak wanted to shout, yes! But he didn't have to. Big Girl stood and announced, Of course he does. Now it's time for me to let go and become the person God made me to be. Big Girl smiled, placed the acorn in her pocket and began walking away. But after a few steps she stopped and turned. She looked at the swing, the tree house. She looked at Big Oak. She walked over to him and placed a hand on his trunk. Without a word, she said goodbye. Without a word, Big Oak said the same. The End